What's up, y'all? Got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Now, y'all, we about to get into a uh, blue face tweet about Zeus. Um, <clears throat> he said, guess what me and Zeus are working on next? Now, before we get into, the, to, into this, y'all, at the end of this video, I have Tasha K going back and forth with some transmissions. It's a hilarious video. Y'all make sure y'all tap in. But we're going to, I just want to talk a couple minutes about this blue face and uh, Krishan Zeus thing, right? Now, I'm just really playing devil's advocate here because it really don't matter um, because I, I guess Krishan is just no longer working with Zeus. I want to know, do y'all think Krishan played herself by not working with Zeus anymore? Now, before y'all even have y'all opinion, I'm going to tell y'all what I think. I don't think it was smart to burn the bridge. I think it was smart to get the hell away from baddies because it's, they, that is just a mess. Um... However, I think that she could have did a Krishan and Junior thing or a Krishan lifestyle thing. But not only that, Krishan also can make her own thing on her own YouTube channel. I'm not going to lie. Like, Krishan's name out here just ring bells. So if she wanted to do her own thing on her YouTube channel, she could do that. She don't necessarily need Zeus at all. Um... Let me want it a Krishana Jr. show, but Krishan didn't want to. Now that's crazy. Krishan said on live she doesn't want to do TV. Wow. Krishan has demands now, and they're not meeting her demands. Okay. Well, I feel her on that. So maybe he wasn't he wasn't paying enough. But for Blueface, thank you, friend. But for Blueface to tap in and and slide in on Zeus, I ain't mad at it. Uh it's like, Krishan, if you don't want the money, then shit. My, he might as well take it. But if him and Jaden get a show, which nine times out of ten, they're going to get a show, do y'all think Krishan will be taking the L that way? I don't see rock on love and hip-hop. That's even worse. If Krishan get a booking for 20K on a weekend, hell, that's all they getting paid over there uh, on love and hip-hop. Absolutely no love and hip-hop. I, I, I think Krishan could create her own network if you ask me. Okay, y'all wouldn't think Krishan is taking an L. Either way, I don't think she's taking an L. I think that she made a conscious decision. However, before I would have left, I would have created my own wave with him. I would have put my foot down on my, on my price, and I would have branched out and did my own thing. Or Krishan could be the host of her own like baddies type show. Now, Natalie probably would have had a fit, but I would have challenged it because a lot of women mess with Krishan, period. So, I don't know. I'm just on the fence about that. I want to know what y'all think, though, down in the comment section below. Um, I think Krishan's show would be lit, though. If she did her own show by herself, it would be lit. But maybe Krishan feel like she need other people to, to talk. You know what I'm saying? I don't think Krishan would do good just speaking alone either. Like, she need, like, her, Marsh, and the other one can have a show. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. If I was Krishan, I would do For the Love of Krishan. No cap. I would have me a For the Love of Krishan show. I would get me some niggas lined up. You know what I'm saying? 20 of them. You feel me? Talk about pissed. Oh, girl, I would make him hot. Like, I'm a Leo, so naturally I'm always trying to, you know what I'm saying, up. On whoever that's trying to up on me, you know. Well, I used to be. But at her age, absolutely down for that shit. So, for the love of Krishan or however you want to put it, um, I would absolutely do that if I was Krishan. But if she don't want to do TV, that's on her. You know what I'm saying? She ain't got to. Grown-ass woman. Uh, I just want to know what y'all think. Ouch. I want to know what y'all think down in the comment section below about that. I hit my funny bone, child. Uh, I guess her manager is Dooney. Oh, I love Talil. So Talil's still shooting his shot, y'all. Um, I love Talil. I love his his everything. He he he's a cool dude. Him and Amar is probably two of my favorite men on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know I don't do no fan shit. But I just think they some they some eye right dudes with me.
But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. We are done with this video. Ah, love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah. What's up, y'all? Got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Now, y'all, we about to get into a blue face tweet about Zeus. Um, <clears throat> he said, guess what? Me and Zeus are working on next. Now, before we get into the to, into this, y'all, at the end of this video, I have Tasha K going back and forth with some transmissions. It's a hilarious video, y'all. Make sure y'all tap in. But we're gonna. I just want to talk a couple minutes about this blue face and uh, Krishan Zeus thing, right? Now, I'm just really playing devil's advocate here because it really don't matter. Um, because I, I guess Krishan is just no longer working with Zeus. I want to know, do y'all think? Krishan played herself by not working with Zeus anymore. Now, before y'all even have y'all opinion, I'm going to tell y'all what I think. I don't think it was smart to burn the bridge. I think it was smart to get the hell away from baddies because it's, they, that is just a mess. Um, however, I think that she could have did a Krishan and Junior thing or a Krishan lifestyle thing. But not only that, Krishan also can make her own thing on her own YouTube channel. I'm not going to lie. Like, Krishan's name out here just ring bells. So if she wanted to do her own thing on her YouTube channel, she could do that. She don't necessarily need Zeus at all. Um, let me want a Krishan and Junior show, but Krishan didn't want to. Now, that's crazy. Krishan said on live she doesn't want to do TV. Wow. Krishan has demands now, and they're not meeting her demands. Okay. Well, I feel her on that, so maybe he wasn't he wasn't paying enough. But for Blueface, thank you, friend. But for Blueface to tap in and, and slide in on Zeus, I ain't mad at it. Uh, it's like, Krishan, if you don't want the money, then shit. My, he might as well take it. But if him and Jaden get a show, which nine times out of ten, they're going to get a show, do y'all think Krishan will be taking an L that way? I don't see rock on love and hip-hop. That's even worse. If Krishan get a booking for 20K on a weekend, hell, that's all they getting paid over there uh, on love and hip-hop. Absolutely no love and hip-hop. I, I, I think Krishan could create her own network if you ask me. Okay, y'all wouldn't think Krishan is taking an L. Either way, I don't think she's taking an L. I think that she made a conscious decision. However, before I would have left, I would have created my own wave with them. I would have put my foot down on my, on my price, and I would have branched out and did my own thing. Or Krishan could be the host of her own like baddies type show. Now, Natalie probably would have had a fit, but I would have challenged it because a lot of women mess with Krishan, period. So, I don't know. I'm just on the fence about that. I want to know what y'all think, though, down in the comment section below. Um, I think Krishan's show would be lit, though. If she did her own show by herself, it would be lit. But maybe Krishan feel like she need other people to, to talk. You know what I'm saying? I don't think Krishan would do good just speaking alone either. Like, she need, like, her, Marsha, and the other one can have a show. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. If I was Krishan, I would do For the Love of Krishan. No cap. I would have me a For the Love of Krishan show. I would get me some niggas lined up. You know what I'm saying? 20 of them. You feel me? Talk about pissed. Oh, girl, I would make him hot. Like, I'm a Leo, so naturally I'm always trying to, you know what I'm saying, up. On whoever that's trying to up on me, you know. Well, I used to be. But at her age, absolutely down for that shit. So, for the love of Krishan, or however you want to put it, um, I would absolutely do that if I was Krishan. But if she don't want to do TV, that's on her. You know what I'm saying? She ain't got to. Grown-ass woman. Uh, I just want to know what y'all think. Ouch. I want to know what y'all think down in the comment section below about that. I hit my funny bone, child. Uh, I guess her manager is Dooney. Oh, I love Talil. So Talil's still shooting his shot, y'all. Um, I love Talil. I love his his everything. He he he's a cool dude. Him and Amar is probably two of my favorite men on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? 
I don't know. I don't do no fan shit, but I just think they some they some all right dudes with me. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. We are done with this video. Ah, love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah. Peace. So let's get into this tea. Now, allegedly, Tasha K gets uh, pause put on her by a group of <laughs> transmissions. <laughs> this is what the title say, bro. Tasha K gets <laughs> <laughs> by a group of transmissions at her reunion filming, girl. Let's just get into Guys, it. Guys, come on in here real quick. I just cannot believe what just happened. Jaden has been saying, and your ish is hella bumpy in them songs. Huh? Oh my God. Okay. So, can you hold this for me? Okay. Hey, y'all. Y'all will not believe what just happened to me at all, at all. Let me just say this. We might believe it, Tasha. I have never in my life just experienced what I've experienced. Oh, shit. Oh, my ever. God. No, because <laughs> I went live. Call the Uber. I told you to get him an Uber. You call it. I'm live. Sorry. Okay. Listen. Oh. I was just hired by Now That's TV to host their reunion show for Deja Vu season two, okay? I get in the building. We get ready to host. Them came in fire. Um. I have never in my life ever seen anybody fight the way that they was fighting. When I tell you my husband was fighting, oh. gang department here was fighting, my security was fighting, they even brought transgender women in to protect me against the transgender women that was there to beat my ass because I wouldn't acknowledge them as a trans woman because they were beating women's asses. Oh, because I'm like, what happened? Okay. Okay, she wouldn't acknowledge them as trans women. Ass, because I wouldn't acknowledge them as a trans woman because they were beating women's asses. I said, <sighs> how the f you want me to call you a woman and you beating a woman's ass as a... Oh, like no, shit. no, that what we not gonna do. <laughs> Most what people. Oh hell no! Sorry y'all. What in the Adam is going on here? Y'all see, I got my snack. Oh. Mm. What's up, it's Megan? Got mm Megan. -hmm. Came in fire. Mm -hmm. I have never in my life ever seen anybody. Fight the way that they was fighting. When I tell you my husband was... Kima, let me tell you something. You ain't about to set me up. Kima talking about, is she wrong, though? Let me tell y'all something. Mm -mm. I stay away from transmission. Uh, and I'm going to use the word transmission, too, because of the algorithm. Not because I'm picking on trans. It's because of the algorithm. But I stay away from that transmission con uh, uh, <laughs> conversation. Cause I have my own, I have my own, um, you know, opinion about it too. And, you know, being that I am in the, the community as a collective, which I want to kind of 86 that as well, because I just want to be human. You get what I'm saying? I want to be human. I don't even think transmissions should be transmissions. I just think that they should be people that they, they are, you know what I'm saying? They're a person. I am a people. You get what I'm saying? The rest of that, mm -mm, ain't none of my business. I, I ain't, uh-uh. Was fighting. Gang department here was fighting. As, as a like, no, no, that what we not going to do. I had them. I will say, I absolutely do not agree with um trans fighting, trans see, women fighting women. Absolutely don't agree with that shit. At all. Sneaking me from every which way. I'm sitting in my chair. Nice thing you know, my security, Shaq, Slim, and everybody tackle one. Sh okay? They came Damn, from. not. Y'all kept. I'm going to have to edit this too. Side, look at Slim. Slim. <laughs> Slim had a. The Casamigo bottles. He about to bust a bitch over the head. They had to rush me outside so many times. Like, I had. Next thing you know, I had transgender women that they called in to come fight for me. Damn. <laughs> like, it was that bad. Like, 
I was like, I never knew that now that TV was like this bad. I thought the shit was like staged or something. I thought Zeus was worse. Extent. But it's not. And I know I look flawless. I do. I look flawless. My makeup is flawless. My outfit is flawless. Everything, right? But they didn't pay me enough for that shit. Okay. They did not pay me enough. When I tell you why this woman rushed my security guard, this flew back. His gun dropped. <laughs> this Damn. shit. It was so bad that we tried to finish up filming, right? They don't let the trans, they don't put all the trans women out. One security guard, they had to call the f ambulance to f take him out, right? Like, we like, what the ambulance doing out here? They don't f had the ambulance, one of the security guards, like, because he got his ass beat while one of the trainers, right? This, f I'm trying to tell you, like, all I knew is we were setting up for the last scene, y'all. I didn't even get to film the last f scene. I'm the host of the reunion. I didn't get to film the last f scene I was hired to do because the the women were trying to sneak me from every single angle because I wouldn't call them a woman. I said, what the f You want me to call you a woman, but you out here beating up like you niggas. Absolutely not. They crying. You disrespected me. You that. I don't give a f uh, Nah, I gotta agree with Tasha K on that one. I gotta agree with Tasha K on that one because uh-uh. Why are y'all beating up on women? Y'all, is Biggie a transmission? And I'm saying transmission because I'm going to edit out this, this the gender part. But because YouTube, they just, oh, I ain't got time. <clears throat> is Biggie a transmission? Biggie's a woman. Okay. Y'all asked Honey Sauce she said yes. Okay, okay, okay. Because I was going to ask, because Biggie be fighting women and shit. So, okay, okay. No, she has peace. So, okay, 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 okay. Okay. So, I thought Biggie was, um, I thought Biggie was trying. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, no, what we not going to do. So, it was to the point, my security, they trying to get me to sit down, the, the production. My security said, nah, she not doing that. We see these y'all ain't got enough security, and they, they, they got tired of getting their ass beat by the women the whole night. Jay, Jay. Jay's my security. Was they with me? Hold on, Jay. Tell they, them. They what damn they... sure was trying to get at me. <laughs> but they wasn't going to get to you. <laughs> okay. They didn't let nobody touch me. Oh, good. I'm telling you, they didn't let nobody touch me. <laughs> Y'all got to go to Now That's TV. Deja Vu. So Tasha K didn't get touched. Okay, okay. Oh, season 2. <laughs> Diamond the Buddy. Blue Face Barbie. Oh, Blue Face Barbie threw a drink on me. That bitch, that white threw a drink on me let me tell you why she threw a drink now y'all got to watch blue face barbie reunion y'all got to watch her that bitch got so mad at me i stood up i said bitch let me tell you so i know you getting used to getting getting you a, you a bitch that's used to getting your ass whooped by a black man okay and if you throw another drink on me these niggas gonna whoop your ass today okay but you <laughs> used to that i have never sydney star sydney star up in there fighting like it was just so. I was like, my husband was like, "You never Sydney, doing that no shit like this too? again." <laughs> you never doing that no shit. They rushed me out the building. When I tell you, they didn't have enough security for the last scene. My security peeped that they was like, "Nah." Even Slim, Slim was like, "Negative." Negative. He said, "It ain't going. Tasha not going to sit down. Y'all don't have control over the situation. They plotting on her. They mad." <laughs> That's crazy. I said, okay. I said, I'll do it again, but I just need more security. That's all. Because the security they got, they was all midgets. Oh, Lord. What are midgets? I said, how you got midgets? And these security are like, like the, 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 the trans women that are fighting them are big niggas like Slim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sitting there hosting. I'm like, so I, I, I love women. I'm like, no, you don't. I even told one of the. She's like, I'm a woman. You jealous of me? I said, bitch, bleed, bleed. Okay. She always win when she say bleed, y'all. Damn. Wait, no, you breathe. She got so mad. She was rocking. She was rocking. I said, bitch, bleed. I'm still. Why you doing all that rocking? I'm still waiting on you to bleed. I'm still waiting on you to bleed. Cause you ain't gonna sit here and talk shit to me, bitch. I'm not bowing down to you, bitch. Who the fuck are you? Bitch? I made you and I told her bitch, I gave birth to you. Don't you dare disrespect me like that.
Don't you dare. This ain't flying. My security would fly. No. Oh, absolutely not. What are the bitch? How much high blood pressure do I need? <laughs> they, one bitch snuck me from behind. I didn't even know. She, I was sitting in the chair. I'm conducting an interview. Next thing you know, the trans girl came from the back. It took four niggas to get her. Try not to get to me. Shake had the chair on the bitch. <laughs> no, it ain't a video, y'all. I'm sure. <laughs> it's a picture. <laughs> they hired me to do a job. I did the job, okay? The, the producers was like, I didn't know you was going to be this spicy with you. I was like, well, you asked me to ask the question. Uh-uh, they would have had to pay me some more after dealing with this buffoonery. I see why the other hosts were scared to ask the questions. They was like, well, Deja scared. Deja Renee, she's scared to ask a question. What was she scared for? Just ask the question. Like, what the fuck is the question? So, listen. We good. Y'all check out Now That's TV. Deja Vu season two. I'm definitely hosting the reunion. I didn't get to film the last scene because security would not clear it. They they rushed me out of the building because they said, we're not going to, y'all don't have control of the situation and the, and the women are beating the producer. And then it's the fact that they trying to fight the damn host. That's just crazy as hell. <laughs> when the trans women start beating the producer's asses and the security asses and sending them in right, the ambulances. Probably like, like, I don't go, got cause... nothing to say. Girl who? Me. I'll, mm. what, 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 but see, I have a, I have a little more, um, I'm Jason Lee to the situation. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like, I'm not like I'm messy, but I'm not like catty. You know what I'm saying? Uh, to the point where you can't defend yourself or say it is what it is, how you feel. But I would not not call you a woman, I guess, because that's what you go by. You know what I'm saying? Like, but ultimately they still not wrong for trying to fight women. Like, come on now. <laughs> like you're, see, I ain't got time. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I know how to, you know, say some shit and then let them respond and then we get a little shady and we keep it moving though. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody got time for you to be fighting and shit. Granted, I would have security too though. I absolutely would have had security there. We ain't gonna be able to hold this too long. <laughs> if I was Tasha K, I'd have security anywhere. Hell, with me being me, at some point y'all definitely gonna see me with security. Absolutely. <laughs> I don't trust oh, the soul. Oh, shit. Now that's TV, okay? <laughs> y'all check it out. I love y'all. <laughs> I ain't got no voice. I've been yelling. All right, yeah, we done with this. But yeah, I would absolutely have security as well if I were her. Um, period. Child, because who? I want to show y'all this bacon. Now, y'all, what do we need season on the bacon for? When bacon is already, you know what I'm saying? Bacon is already fatty. Friend don't have me in there fighting. <laughs> Friend, though we will. Uh, Because if they fighting, I'm fighting. Because <laughs> if you fighting, I'm fighting. Same with you, bitch. You already know. Because we don't go in starting with shit with folk, but we're going to finish it. Um, You see this bacon? So I guess the other side is the seasoned bacon. Girl, they trying to die. I, see, bacon ain't already seasoned. However, it's already like bacon. You know what I'm saying? I don't need to season bacon. <laughs> bacon is already bacon. I put adobe on my bacon? Ew, why, friend? But still, that ain't salt. You know what I'm saying? I hope it's pep. I, you put pepper on the bacon? Pepper is fine. But to like add more salt to bacon is just out of control. But y'all let us know what y'all think down in the comment section below. We are done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.